How's it going everyone? JKXVX here. We're back on Foot Horizon 5 once again for even more information about the game. The third Forza Horizon 5 based livestream has just ended where we got tons of information about the new sounds in the game, more specifically car and engine sounds. In today's video I'm going to cram everything down from that livestream into one little video so you know everything new about the game that we found out today. We're going to be talking about the car sounds, the world sounds, the upgrades, some new features as well, believe it or not, and a few other questions which are answered at the end of the stream. If this video does help you out guys, please consider subscribing to the channel, it helps out massively. Let's get into today's video. Now the live stream included the lead audio designer called Fraser Strachan. Every single sound in Forza Horizon 5 goes through him and he really seems like he knows what he's doing. There were so many things which were said in the stream which is just exciting and I'm going to start now. It was said that Forza Horizon 5 has the largest ever car list at launch, so that's good to see. And each one sounds different. How cool is that? So, how is Forza Horizon 5 going to have amazing car sounds and what have they changed? Well, let's get into it, there's a lot to talk about. It is said that they have got over 320 new car recordings added to their current library of car sounds. 320, that is a lot of cars. Now, that's not the only thing they've done, they've not just increased the library of car sounds, they have done it in a sort of a different way better method. They've literally spent the last several years doing this and getting all of these car recordings, you know, bang on. What they used to do for car sounds is get a car and go to the dyno and sort of accelerate and decelerate on the dyno. I'm sure there were a few exceptions where they managed to take it to a runway, but a few, most of them were done on the dyno. And while you can get a good car sound from a dyno, it's not going to be great and they used to get the sound of every RPM and sort of loop it through the computer and then sort of put it into the game. It's obviously a bit more complicated than that, but that's the general basis of it. Now, as you can see on screen, in Horizon 5, all of the car sounds have come from a real-life version of the car on an airstrip. They attach loads of microphones to the car and just get constant car sounds of it going up, of flybys, of de-accelerations, of redlining, you know, all different types of sounds the car can make. They just get that on a real life drag strip. Now, not only do they do this, but if it's a car like, for example, the Toyota Supra, as you can see on screen, they actually get several Supras, all with different exhausts, different mods, and actually record the sounds differently. Which, yes, does mean that in Forza Horizon 5, if you upgrade your exhaust, it upgrade your turbo, upgrade your supercharger, or anything, your air filter, anything whatsoever, it will change the sound of the car because they have got specific car sounds for every type of modification for almost every car. How mad is that? Now we do have some clips of the actual car sounds in game with some gameplay. They are talking over them most of the time, unfortunately. We are going to get raw footage eventually, but this is what we have for now. Let's take a listen. Oh, here we go. Bit of deja vu here. And you really hear that rasp coming through that, that we yeah. heard out on track. Yeah, golf on there. This one's. I love the sound of this GT. Uh, the uh, Hurricane cover car from FH2. Goodness. When is it November 9th? Just a little snippet. <laughs> Every single car has this new method. Not a single car in Forza Horizon 5 is going to have the old sort of, you know, dull car sound method. Every single one is going to have this new method, which just makes the cars sound amazing. And this new method, to put it short, 
it chops the car sounds up into thousands of pieces and these car sounds actually run at 90 frames per second which is more than the game runs at anyway which is how they're so high quality and it's just so much better than the old method and every single car in Horizon 5 is going to have it. Now not only are the cars just going to sound better, the superchargers and the turbo winds are going to be so much better. Um, the transmission winds are going to be audible as well depending on if you upgrade your transmission because some cars in real life you know you can hear the transmission winds like properly loud. There are changes to the red line for example in Forza Horizon 5, 4 sorry when you red line your car it just sort of bounces off the limiter. Well in Horizon 5 it's going to do just that but when you upgrade your car it's going to bounce off the lim limiter a bit differently so it might bounce off it a bit faster. You know they've just thought of absolutely everything when it comes to car sounds. I'm going to show you on screen right now um, the new feature where you can actually hear the car sounds in the game as you're upgrading the car. Um, they were unfortunately talking over most of this. They are going to give us raw footage at some point within the next couple of days um, but for now this is all we have. They are unfortunately talking over half of it. You can see um, when I stop talking in a second that you can hear um, the car in game as you're upgrading it. So yeah, as you upgrade your car um, on your intake, your exhaust, um, you will have seen there that we had, as you go through all the different turbo layers, the supercharger layers, the centrifugal um, superchargers as well, uh, you'll hear all the, those changing in real time as you rev, as well as when you apply the like stock street race and sport modes for each of the different turbos, mm -hmm. it'll go from being kind of like a to more of a... I don't think we could do a show without these now. I and as you can see, this is our first view of the upgrades as well. You know, how you upgrade your car in the game. We've not seen it yet, but now we have. And we can see, obviously, the new feature as well. Everything else sort of looks the same. You know, you've got your level, you've got your, uh, your, your credits and stuff like that. Everything looks the same, but there was no issue with that anyway. But yeah, it's pretty cool to see. And that new feature does look really cool. Now, obviously, not only are the sounds going to be good in the auto show, the sounds have dramatically changed outside as well. For example, when you're in a race with 11 other cars, all 11 of those other cars will have the specific sounds as well. So as you're in a race, all the other cars you're racing against, you're going to be able to hear their supercharger upgrades. You're going to be able to hear their transmission winds and just everything that they've upgraded. And it's going to be high quality just like the car you're in and your cars will also sound a little different depending on whereabouts you are along the map as well because every single part of the map and every single object has a different sort of sound level for example concrete might bounce sound better than if you're in a jungle with leaves and trees or if you're in a tunnel it's obviously going to be even more extreme than that so depending on where you are on the map you know sounds are going to bounce off objects better than some others and it's just going to make it sound even cooler and obviously as you're outside if you've got the roof down convertibles are going to sound even different than when the roof's up i said that in a weird way convertibles will sound different when the roof's down or the roof's up it changes and obviously if you're in the cockpit view as well that sounds a lot different and better as well now I do unfortunately have to touch on the fact that the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S are going to have better sounds than the other consoles. This is just because the Xbox Series S and X have better audio capabilities. You know, that's just a fact. They're not restricting it to make you get a new Xbox. The Series X and S are just better at handling audio, which makes sense. Now there were a few Q&A questions which were answered, which a few of them are about sounds anyway. And they did ask about the convertibles, and yes, convertibles will set, change the sound of the car. Um, the two people on the show were asked what their favourite car sound was in the new game. Now, Mike said it was the Stratos, and Fraser, the audio design guy, said the Subaru BRZ. Very interesting. I'm looking forward to hearing that now. Now, a few other questions which were asked is any new engine swaps? Yes, there are over 500 new engine swaps apparently 500 jesus someone asked if the big bridge that we saw in the gameplay of Fort 2005 is if that's part of the highway apparently it's not apparently the highway and the bridge you can drive on them both but they're different parts of the map if you wanted to know that and someone asked if there are any returning characters for Fort 2005 and apparently there are some returning characters from previous horizon games 
And we also got a bit of information on the next Forza Horizon 5 stream, which is going to be stream 4 in a couple of weeks, they said. Um, it's going to be a deep dive into the map of Horizon 5, or sort of the Mexico, you know, the biomes, what's different about the biomes and stuff like that. Don't expect to see the full map in that stream, but it's going to go, it's going to deep dive into Mexico and the biomes and stuff like that. And then apparently at some point after that, so maybe stream 5, we're going to know a bit more about the car list as well. So that's interesting. We already know it's the biggest car list at launch so far, but we'll know more in the future. Now that was everything from Stream 3 about car sounds. They really, really have gone, you know, all out with car sound in this game. I cannot wait. I might do a separate video when we have the actual raw sounds with unedited footage without them talking over it. And we'll have to wait and see, but obviously we heard some of them earlier. So anyway, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon more content, five content, I mean. I'll see you all later.